one of the uh, the reasons or explanations for GMO or one of the benefits that we were supposed to be uh, seeing is uh, bringing an end to world hunger. Uh, we'd be able to feed more people. What's is that? proving to be not true? The experts have come to the conclusion that the current generation of GMOs has nothing to offer in terms of feeding the hungry or eradicating poverty or creating sustainable development. The ISTAD report was authored by more than 400 scientists over many years, sponsored by the UN and WHO, etc., to figure out how agriculture was going to feed the world. And they dismissed GMOs as irrelevant. In fact, one of the leaders said, it's unclear if it provides any benefits. Um, <clears throat> what it does actually is it pulls money away from the more appropriate technologies. Agroecology is what they recommended, but that's less in favor when there's the sexy new GMO technology that costs a lot of money that's not actually uh, good for the developing nations. Mm -hmm. One of the theories about GMOs is that it's going to increase yield and that increasing yield will feed the hungry. Well, both of those assumptions are false. Higher yields is not necessarily going to eradicate hunger because we have more food per person than any time in human history. It's access to the food. It's issues like poverty. And so growing more on its own, the silver bullet is not going to solve the problem. But GMOs doesn't even do that. It doesn't improve yield on average. It reduces yield on average. Primarily it's a weeding technology where you can spray weed killer and not kill the crops, and so it makes weeding easier. But the herbicide-tolerant crops that take the weed killer, they tend to have 5 to 10 percent less lower, less yield. Mm -hmm. The BT toxin will kill certain insects, so in some cases it'll increase yield because it'll kill the insects that would be damaging the crop. But it's a tiny increase, much less than the, than the increase that occurs through natural selection every year. So it doesn't increase yield. It doesn't help feed the world. It doesn't reduce the use of agricultural chemicals. There's been about 527 million pounds more herbicide on these GM crops over the first 16 years. It doesn't increase farmer income. It doesn't increase the sector's income because it actually countries that invest in GMOs tend to reduce exports because so many people don't want to eat them. What it does do is it increases the bottom line of companies like Monsanto whose stated goal is to genetically engineer 100 percent of all commercial seeds in the world and patent them.